Hey, what's going on boys? Ricky here, and yesterday we got some really surprising news. Project Cars 3 re released this summer and an announcement trailer. Uh, what you see in the background is actually gameplay from Project Cars 3 that released today. I for one did not have a clue this was coming this early, which feels kind of weird because they didn't hype it up, they didn't do barely anything. Uh, I mean, they must miss out on a lot of pre-sales, uh, pre-orders and stuff like that. I'm not sure what's going on here. It says release summer 2020, which is now. So it should either release in July or August. Uh, that's summer, right? Pretty weird, pretty weird. But let's take this from the beginning. So back in, I think it was... November 2018, Codemasters bought Slightly Mad Studios. Then after that, in December 2018, Ian Bell, which was the, uh, which basically owned Slightly Mad Studios, had an interview with GT Planet where he said that this will be uh, easier to handle, more easygoing. It just, he didn't use the word arcadey, but yeah, in other words, he said this game will be a lot more arcadey. And seen from the footage here. It definitely looks more arcadey. This feels like a better looking, better handling version of Grid. Which isn't really good news. I mean, Grid was not very good. I mean, that's that's a fact. Uh, this looks a lot better, it looks a lot more fun, and I'm sure this will be a lot better than Grid. Uh, it's still not really good news for me. I, I love Project Cars 1 and I love Project Cars 2. I'm a huge fan of Project Cars 2. Some of my absolute favorite racing games and I just wish they would make a spin-off for Project Cars. Just rename this or do something. It just doesn't feel like a Project Cars game when looking at this footage. It just it feels like a Need for Speed, Grid, even Forza Horizon type game. Which is, which is fine, but it's not what I really wanted, to be honest. But again, I haven't played this, I, this is still early. Uh, I don't know, this might be the most fun racing game I ever played, who knows. Um, but yeah, they did say they're focusing on the career mode. We will be able to customize cars, we'll start from scratch. The career mode really needed something, that's for sure, so I'm not complaining there. I think the career mode in this will probably be a lot more fun when you can actually customize the cars, switch engines, switch, I don't know, wheels, whatever. Just like Forza Horizon or Need for Speed Shift or whatever. So that's good. That's all good. Career mode was pretty boring, both in Project Cars 1 and 2. But I don't play Project Cars games because of the career mode. Even though that could be fun, I mainly play multiplayer, so multiplayer is what I care about. Uh, and it's always been a huge part of Project Cars games. Uh, apparently there are three different ways to play multiplayer in Project Cars 3. First you have Quick Play, which will throw you into a race using skill-based matchmaking. This is not something new, a lot of other games has it and it, yeah, no big surprise there. Uh, then you have something they call Scheduled Event Mode, which Features races handcrafted by the developer. Uh, not sure exactly what that means. It sounds that's the place you could get your simulation fix. If there's any simulation left in Project Cars 3, I'm not sure. Uh, that did sound pretty good. Uh, hope they pulled it off. Uh, then obviously you have the classic custom lobby where you set up the race yourself, the different track conditions, tracks, which cars to use and so forth. I guess it's the sandbox experience. Um, just come to realize they also had a fourth option. So maybe these, I don't know. They also have something they call Rivals, which is its own unique ranking system and a rewards system uh, where Slightly Mad will manage a series of events with fresh daily, weekly, and monthly challenges. Uh, if you do well, you will climb the leaderboard, beating the other players, and earning XP. Uh, which is pretty similar to other racing titles as well. They also said they improved the servers uh, or the stability and the latency issues we had when we were playing multiplayer. It's been an issue since Project Cars 1. Uh, they are now using relay servers, whatever that is, I have no idea. Uh, but I think they had to change it up because of the customization options you had now. 
yeah, they just needed new technology for the service, I guess. Uh, we also seen some new stuff. We seen the Chevy Corvette uh, C8R, which is the new GTE car and new. Uh, GTLM car in IMSA, which is an awesome car. Excited about that. Uh, we also seen some new track, but I think the only two real uh, confirmed new track is what you see in the background here, which is Interlagos. Uh, then you have a Shanghai street circuit. Uh, pretty decent additions, I guess. I would rather have seen Sebring, for example. Not sure which other track I would have seen rather than Shanghai or this. This is just not Interlagos is just not a personal favorite of mine. It's just yeah, maybe it's yours. It's just not mine. Never really liked this track for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm sure a lot more tracks and cars will be revealed uh, in the coming days, weeks. But I just hope they show us some kind of simulation side of this. Maybe you can switch the settings of the game for from, I don't know, beginner, arcade and simulation. Because the gameplay here in the background looks very arcadey. It looks better than Grid and some of the... Uh, or a lot of the other um, arcadey games. It looks better, it does. It really does. But it doesn't look like a simulation. So hopefully you will be able to change the settings um, and I hope they show some kind of teaser of how the game will actually play out in a simulation type mode. In the trailer we had footage that looked like real racing and not just road racing on road tracks with road cars. Something like real simulation. I want to do uh, I want to do league racing in this. That's what I was looking forward to. And I can't really see that happening uh, from what I see here. The graphics look awesome. The graphics have always been, in my opinion, the best in the business in Project Cars games. And uh, yeah, it's no different here. It looks a bit different. Uh, I saw they did put time into making uh, the sense of speed feel better that you're actually driving fast because that was an issue in Project Cars. They have a no new uh, motion blur effect. Uh, some new stuff that makes you look like you're going faster, which looking at this footage here, it yeah it does look like you're going faster. The motion effect uh, or motion blur effect doesn't really just looks kind of weird. It reminds me of Grid and Need for Speed and all these other arcadey games. I've been kind of negative here, and I'm I'm just kind of disappointed. I wanted to see. I didn't want to see a arcade version of Project Cars. Project Cars for me isn't arcade, it's simulation and yeah. Maybe a lot of people will like this and their sales will improve, not sure, I doubt it though. I think they've lost a lot of simulation fans going this route. Uh, I was kind of surprised that they're staying on current gen consoles as well. I mean this would be a perfect launch game for PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox. Um, that that way I could really see why they would go this route with the more user-friendly, more fun handling model and new fun stuff. I just don't see this really. I don't really understand why they went this route. Either way, still pretty excited and hopefully this will be a lot of fun when it releases i i'm sure we'll get a definite release date pretty soon i will be buying it and i will be keeping you guys updated and providing footage hopefully i'll get some kind of preview version not sure i have to be more positive in these videos if i uh if i would ever get one but i know i will get the f1 game preview from cold monsters cold monsters has an amazing uh, racing ahead program for YouTubers and stuff, which is pretty awesome. So hopefully I can get my hands on this as well uh, in the next couple of weeks. I'll I'll, I'll do my best, uh, and hopefully I'll get to try this out pretty soon because I really want to try this out and see how it feels and see how it feels with a wheel. I know they did a lot of improvements on the gamepad, which from my comment sections on my previous videos I know it needed. Uh, so that's obviously very good. So yeah, that's it guys. Please leave a comment in the comment section below how you feel about Project Cars 3. How you feel about the gameplay you've seen and from all the news you've, you've heard. I'm sure a lot of you are simulation fans, uh, which didn't take these news 
uh, very positively, I guess. Uh, but yeah, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.